So I've been going through my dinos and um, I just noticed that I haven't created Sargorexus yet, or formerly known as Sarnyasukas, but anyways, um, uh, I should do that now. It looks awesome. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not create it? All right. I hope I have enough Ineos. Oh, yeah, I do have enough Ineosukas DNA. Oh, let's get... Actually, I, I don't really mind if we get bad fusions on this one. It's... You know what? I actually hope I get bad fusions on this one. So it uses up all my bad luck. By the way, the other day I got super lucky fusions on my Triostronics. I got a um, Triostron or Baryonyx the other day outside and got like 180 something DNA on it and I had a bit left over so I had four fusions. So I got... Was it? Oh, I got 30 on the first fusion, 50 on the second one, 100 on the third one, and 40 on the last one. That was the like the best luck I've ever had on fusions. So if I ever complain about my fusion luck again, just everyone just remind me about that one. All right, that was really bad luck. Great. <laughs> now let's create this thing. All right. It's a crocodile with a frill and a horn and spikes because of course spikes you need spikes for a hybrid dino obviously all right oh well this looks awesome this is probably one of my favorite designs in the game yet i don't know this or post metrodon hmm megalosuchus is good too um its moves are okay its moves are actually pretty good lockdown impact although uh, it has its uses lockdown actually. You know what? I'll I'll try using this today. <laughs> uh, the lockdown. Uh, its speed isn't really good. the The speed is really what puts it off for me. To be honest, I don't like 115. 115 isn't a good speed for me. You either go below that with better other stats, or you know, because dinos with 115 speed don't have really good stats usually, and 115 speed isn't the best for it. So, anyways, I'm gonna swap out my Gripasuchus, and um, if you're wondering why do I have a full epic team, because I'm doing challenges again today. So, I'm gonna throw that in. That's kind of redundant. And the challenger today is Pavimboragala. Sorry. <laughs> Pavimboragala. I I'm not good with names. You guys just have to get used to that. All right, so it's doing um, rares versus epics. They're doing rares versus epics. So, oh, yeah, we got Sarcorexus. Let's try that out. All right. Let's see. Ooh, Delta. Oh, this is the perfect dino to show off um, a lockdown impact. I, I could swap to Notopatosaurus if I want to play safe, but... Just want to show this out since it has impact and run, and lockdown impact just ensures that it can't run after the um, pounce. So that's cool. And then next time I won't have my debuff anymore. So can I kill it actually? No. But I can stun it. And then if I stun it, you see? It can't swap. Automatic swap can't swap. Yes, I get the stun. Now it's going down. It is going. Ooh, lockdown impact only has a one turn cooldown too. That's nice. That is that's automatically better than impact. <laughs> okay, this thing has run too, but it's immune. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna do another Patasaurus. Uh, I could short defense, but I kind of want a D-Cell. I know it's immune, but D-Cell, just the 1.5 times damage on that uh, um, D-Cell. And, and because it's a one-turn cooldown, I could just D-Cell, impact, and D-Cell again. Oh yeah, it dodges. <laughs> don't, please don't pull a fodder here. Impact again. I mean, the thing is, I, I could use short defense, but I'm missing out a lot of damage for not too much defensively, because this thing's attack is... I mean, its attack isn't bad, but it's not too good either. 
And it's just using its strike move, so I'm not too worried. Ouch. And by the way, um, if you guys think this is how you play with Notapadosaurus, this is not how you play with Notapadosaurus. I'm just having fun here. All right, that's a smart move. Switch to uh, Rex 2. Um, at least I put up the shield since... I don't know, it depends if it... Oh no, it still doesn't have Shatter. Forgot. Uh, the other one. Gorgo got Shatter. Rex did it. All right, I could... Th I could throw out... Um, I don't want it critting on the rampage though, so I throw out Gorgosuchus that kills it in one shot. Hmm. Gorgosuchus for most of the part is a guessing game. If you guess what your opponent does, then you could do well with it. If you guess wrong, then it's <laughs> it gets wrecked. But we're not in that situation at the moment. So okay, it's gonna use instant cripple. So I'm going to strike that. Yep. There's the uh, instant cripple. That still did a decent amount of damage for 90%. I mean, um, 90 minus what's that? 50. So it's a 40% damage decrease on my part. And the evasive strike didn't dodge. So there is the game. GG Pabin. Let's try another one. Let's hope uh, they could do a bit better this time. It is Itrio, Itrio, Indo Triostronics. I don't know. <laughs> Itrio, Itrio, Itrio. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Just trying to have fun with your name. Um. Uh. Yep. They're doing Epic versus Legendary. So I'm gonna open Stegodius. As always. Opening with Stegot is kind of, it's getting predictable now. All right, it's Purity Strike. Yeah, this is usually how it goes for this matchup. So if I, you know, usually in this matchup, I probably win slow impact on turn one with Stegoceratops since it's not much use. I'd rather just go minimum stunning and then go for a greater stunning. I don't know. Maybe Swing Impact does okay. I don't I don't have my charts up right now. Thagomizer doesn't do anything with Rex. I mean it does damage, but <laughs> nothing else. Let's hope this doesn't crit. And it crits. <laughs> oh well. Anyways. Um Let's see. Yeah, this thing could kill in one hit. Let's do that. Uh, Null Fang Strike, and that's dead. Alright. I have all my other moves. My uh, Instant Invincibility. Oh, this is not a good matchup for Enkentro. I'll. You know what? I'll have to shield the Rampage so I. Mm. It's like it's it's gonna use superiority on turn one for sure. Maybe not. Um. It's gonna rampage me. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ooh. Well, I got that prediction right, so that helps. Okay, because otherwise, I don't want to be using Instant Cripple against this thing at all. Since it, you know, all it does is Purity Strike, and that doesn't help me. Uh, I'll Thago, doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters for one turn, I guess, but in general doesn't work at all against this thing. And it does do 1.5 times damage, which is all I'm trying to get out of that. I guess I'll shield. Or not at the moment. After that. Uh, no, my shield doesn't still doesn't kill it. Or wait. Oh, my shield actually does kill it. Never mind. Never mind. 
Yeah, so I just needed that one more turn of damage before I shield. I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Alright, this should be a dead Rhino. Unless it's done. <laughs> okay. Um, now it's gone. Oh well. GG Urano. Poor thing. I could take what? Let me see. Probably could take two hits from this thing. Oh, actually, no. Should have attacked it first and then went for the. Uh... Oh well. Just misplays everywhere this game. Uh. Let's, uh what? Does stunning impact not. I don't know, I didn't check the damage. I should, you know, I should. Al you should always check the damage, but it's too early <laughs> for me to do all that. But anyways, I'll still try my best. Instant Gripple, let's see. Oh, Instant Charge. Oh, it didn't land. That was unlucky on their part. Let me see, I'll have to Instant Invincibility now. Let's hope he goes for the impact. Nope, still low stunning. Oh well. I'm just trying to get the most damage I can get out of this before it goes down. Like, it's... Like, it was so low on HP for this whole time and it's still... It's still standing. <laughs> and Kentro is so fun to use. And I almost killed that Sinoceratops too. It well, for the most part, it's unlucky on their side since they didn't uh, land that instant charge. Let's hope they land this one. All right, they landed that one. That's good. Hmm. I'll do the rampage just in case. Hmm. Yeah. All right, GG then. If the uh, no, the impact should be down. All right, that was um, I'd say unlucky on your part, to be honest. Um, if you uh, I, I don't know if you would have won with that instant charge, but um, missing that one certainly is unlucky. All right, let's do one more. Space P Joe's P J O's. I should just give up on people's names. I. <laughs> Anyways, let's hope they do good. Still waiting for an opponent. I hope it doesn't disconnect because that would be disastrous. All right, I think they're doing. Yep, we're doing commons versus rares. I just can't remember this. I don't know. Although I just put my team together like. 20 seconds ago. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just the usual opening. We're a source. Against Stegosaurus. Let's see if they um, turn one that go. So I'm just going to cripple it. Or also this cripple isn't of much use. But if they're smart, they, they will superiority on turn one. Because either way. I mean, I guess you win superiority on the Thago, but... Ooh. That's good on them. They went for the superiority. All right. Hmm. Now they're gonna tag go, so I'm gonna superiority that. Not that really matters though. I guess I could have went tag go. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, no point in crippling anymore. It's it's only move is superiority. That would be bad for me if I ever cripple again. All right, so I think my Stego's dead, or not Stego? What's his face? Whirl? Yeah, it's dead. Hmm. Uh, or let go. I'd say, maybe. All right, going rampage. The speed up doesn't kill it for sure. That's that. Now I have to build hitting up. I guess I could use that. Or not. <laughs> no.
never mind. All right, then we'll speed up then. The speed up and rampage kill it? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh well. Ouch. Probably kills me though. Yep, it kills me. Hmm, it's not going well for me. <laughs> I have to say. Hmm. Ouch, ouch. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go Delta. Delta, strike it, pounce whatever's next, and then swap. Then Kyla cut on. That should be good. All right, a Pado. A Pado, it's, it's gonna desell me, which isn't too much of a problem. Since um, even with a desell plus strike, it doesn't kill me. Its damage is just so low. We'll play it safe, just gonna run right now. Before it pins me. All right, pin right into the Ankyla Kadon, which is immune. Throw out the short defense. Decel impact. Ouch, but not really. Hmm. Oops, I think it, yeah, I should have went for decel. It's, it's a faster cooldown. Oh well. Guess it doesn't matter too much since I'm gonna uh, use short defense next turn anyways. Yeah, didn't matter. Oh well. Okay, so they're gonna go for the swap. I'm gonna try... They're going for a swap this turn, so I'm gonna try swapping back into Delta. Should be okay. Delta is the fastest I know in the game, except for also after... Oh no! Oh no, is this happening? It happened. Someone has beaten the challenge. Space Pijos. Congratulations, you have beaten the challenge. That was very exciting. That was one of the most fun battles I've had in quite a while. That was really good. Good job. <laughs> oh, that Velociraptor in the end. I, I, and I thought I was playing smart. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, I thought like Delta with its speed, like, oh, not, nothing's going to be faster than that. I mean, just swap in the Delta, pounce on whatever's in there, impact and run again, come back to Kylo cut on, and keep on, you know, hammering away with, you know, it still has a decent armor, still has a bit of HP left, um, as, you know, I could come in, throw up a short defense, do some impact moves, but nope. <laughs> so right in the boss, I... Let me see if I could have done anything differently, dude. Win that game. I could um I guess I could have went for armor piercing impact. You know, or something else. Well, it's it's really hard to say. Yeah, I probably should have went for something else instead of decelerating impact and save decelerating impact for whatever's coming in. But there really isn't a point to saving decelerating impact for something because it's, it's it's hard to tell i don't know what they have in the back um if they if they're having like a aloe or tarbo in the back and i use decel that's that's nothing that's just waste of a move like well it's not super waste it's still an impact move but i guess there wasn't too much i could have done um the velociraptor if I really caught it with the D-cell, I probably could have done something, but otherwise, I think that was, <laughs> that was it. Um, probably could have structured my team a bit better, but I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that was great. That was great. That was great. So um, finally, I got a winner and Caught it on a camera this time. So also, if you uh, want to challenge me, please sign up at um, on our Discord. And yes, please sign up. Don't just ask to challenge me without signing up. I don't. I don't take um, uh, challenges that aren't signed up because I really want to keep a track record of the people who I've battled. Um, so I I know who I should be battling and. 
because I, I, I don't want to give other people priority over those who have signed up. That's kind of unfair. And I, I don't want to upset uh, other folks who did sign up for it. So if you do want to challenge me, sign up in our Discord. I'll link it down below. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, as you might have noticed, I do Jurassic World live videos. So that's all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow then.